Hello and welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Herb Stemple, your guide through high technology. Today we're going to try to demystify digital photography. What to do with those hundreds of images you have clogging up your hard drive. We're going to find out how to get one of these from one of these. We're going to start off with the Epson Picture Mate. This little baby's got a cartridge in it with six different inks. I guess that must mean it's advanced. It's got a handle on it. Kind of looks like a cooler. I could probably keep a beer in it, but for now, let's just try to print a picture, shall we? I'm going to start a picture in motion. And it seems like it's going to take a little longer than expected. While that's going, why don't we move on to the next one? All right, let's take a look at the HP PhotoSmart 7550, shall we? It's a little, well, it's a big printer, and it's a very fast printer, too. It's got a nice little preview screen right on top. So all you have to do is look at the preview screen, pick out your picture, and hit the print button. Now, the other thing this little screen does is to tell you that you have an error and you're out of magenta ink. Okay, well, that's not a problem, because I'm going to show you how to replace an inkjet cartridge. First, all you have to do is open up this side door on the printer, find your inkjet cartridge that's out. Here's the magenta, and I've got all my supplies right here. I've got the 96, I've got the 97, and all right, I've got the 100. I don't have the particular inkjet cartridge for this, which means I've spent about $300 on inkjet cartridges and don't have the right one. Even I, Herb Stemple, can make that kind of mistake. But don't worry, because I've got another solution. This is a do-it-yourself project, and you can do it at home. I know the manufacturer says not to, but I'm going to show you how to refill inkjet cartridges. First, all you need to do is put on your gloves, and then put your funnel down inside the inkjet cartridge. And then with the right color, well, you're able to... Looks kind of silly, doesn't it? Well, you know what? Let's just forget it and move on. Let's check on the Epson Picture Mate and see how it's doing. Well, it's still chugging along. If speed's an issue for you, the HP PhotoSmart 7560 has something we like to refer to as draft mode. It's a technical term for, well, the fact that the image isn't very good. Uh, the resolution isn't that great and the color's a little off and the flesh tones aren't that fleshy. In fact, people don't even look like people. Hey, but it's very fast. Okay, we're going to move on to a different technology, something called dye sublimation. This is the Canon CP220. It's a nifty little unit, doesn't have any buttons on it. You don't need to use a computer to control it. All you need to do is to connect your digital camera and use the controls on your digital camera. Now, first, power it up. Well, doesn't seem to want to power up. Make sure there are batteries inside. Okay, well, there are no batteries. Not a problem, because what we're going to do now is to move on to the Kodak Easy Shear dock station. Why? Well, because there's a power supply built right into the dock station. All you need to do is to connect your camera into the dock station to get power. And once you do that, then you've got, not a problem, then you've got some power. And, God damn it. Okay, I promised to demystify digital photography today, but it looks like I turned it into more of a mystery than anything else. The picture mate's still chugging along. I did print out pictures during rehearsal. Why don't I take a look and show you those? Thanks. Well, uh, that one's the wrong paper. That one's the wrong side of the paper. This one's still wet. This one's a little smudged. And, uh, ooh. Geez, if I could show you that one, I can't, but it's a beautiful picture. Okay, let's recap, shall we? This is the time to get into digital photography. We've got advanced digital photo printers at the right price. It is the right time. Right now, the average consumer can have the joy of printing photos at home. Jeez, who wrote this garbage? My God, I couldn't do this. I don't know how you're going to do it. Look, all I want is a printer that's small, that has no ink, that's fast, that's easy to use, prints last a long time, 
and there's no trash, there's no garbage, there's nothing to recycle, there's nothing to throw away. I'm Herb Stemple with Tech Talk.